so much mayo, Kyle. Oh no! It's so mayo! Oh my goodness! It's another mail episode. We got a, a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Uh, well, it's not so much a lot as it is a lot of bigger things. We it, haven't had it, a lot of... More volume. Yes. We have some big boxes uh, and some whatnot. So this will be interesting. We're just going to go one at a time and and get through these and see how it goes. We got scissors this time for the people who complained previously. And you'll be able to see more. Look how many... I'm going to block. Look how many stamps they had to put. Oh, no. That's uh, that sounds uh, international. Possibly. Uh, Arizona. Yeah, close enough. I'm gonna open this one. This is from Kenny in Arizona, and it's a movie. And it looks like I don't see a note. Where uh, where at in Arizona? Just out of curiosity. Uh, um, Fountain Hills. Because I have another Arizona, Sedona. Uh, Sedona, yeah. This yeah. is Fountain Hills, Arizona, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this movie is, it's autographed. Uh, it's called The October Flowers. Ooh. This looks like a, yep, uh, based on the pictures in the back, this is a, like, very low-budget, homemade kind of Yay. movie. Uh, it looks like it's autographed by the filmmaker. So the name on the envelope is, okay, here we go. We got a note inside. Hey we, guys, we, we've made it better yes. to check these. Now. Always check them. Uh, hey guys, wanted to reach out since I thought you might be interested in doing a review of this. The uh, what, I, what was it called? The October Flowers, bought brought to you by the team behind Pocket Man and Cargo Boy. What? Oh yeah, Arizona. Yes. That's right. Scottsdale. Uh, uh, you thought you're. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this handwriting. We thought you. Oh, Will Kenny. This is. Uh, Barf, right? I think this is Professor Barf, I think. I need my teachers to be strict and willing to discipline the foreign exchange students, you know? I understand. Now you shut your mouth before I staple it shut. Now this is a classroom and you will learn to sit. Oh, what's that? I need to glue your ass to the seat? Cause I will. Nice. From uh, from Pocket Man and Cargo Boy. Yes. We thought you something, something. I can't read your handwriting, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give Kyle a chance here in a second. Yeah. Hope you both are doing well, and please keep up the great work. Best regards, uh, Will Kinney, who I believe is Professor Barf. If I, he, we've messaged with Professor Barf and uh, uh, Agent Jaden. They've both uh, reached out to us previously, and one of the producers on the movie reached mm -hmm. out and said he will be sending us a copy of the sequel Yay! when it comes out. <laughs> they all enjoyed all our right. review. I'm going to um, attempt my linguistics on this. Yeah. See if you can try. It's the second paragraph here, like the okay. second sentence. I was having trouble. We thought you might be interested in doing a review of... The, okay, hang on. Oh, the second part here? Yeah. Man, Carboy. We thought your review... Yeah. ...was hilarious. Okay, okay. That's why I thought it was yes. something like that. Perfect. Um, so I wonder... Like, let me see that again. I want to see if there's anybody in these little pictures that... You can start opening that one. All right. Oh, this has... Okay, so the actress... Oh, well, there's Professor... There's Barf himself. Yeah. Uh, nice. uh, and uh, the, the, the... What's her name? The... Um, the, prof the female professor uh, who's in Pocket Man and Cargo Boy, she's also in this. Let me read you the synopsis. Julia, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, Love can be dangerous is the tagline. Let me read it. Oh, he, uh, he autographed. He autographed it. There you nice. go. Oh, that's awesome, man. Uh, this will be going. We're going to be getting a bookcase. Some bookcases back here behind us, and where this will be going. Real quick, I just want to read this. The little blurb on the back. Danielle makes a deadly discovery when she inherits a house from her grandmother. Something mysterious from the past is lurking deep within the shadows. This sounds really interesting uh, and could be terribly fun, but uh, we'll add this to the stack. So, Thank you, Mr. Kinney. There's something wrong with the house. Well, because it's haunted? There are more than a few secrets inside these walls. This one Professor is Professor Barf. Uh, this one is also from Arizona. Okay. Uh, but it's just persons referred to as EP. That's I, that might is that a copy of Pocket Man and Cargo no, Boy 2? No, oh, no, no. Because that wish. might be... be great. But it does have the warning controversy inside. All right. Ooh. Exciting. And what we got was a man who loves himself some jello pudding. 
We oh, got no. Ghost Dad. Oh no. Oh no. And Leonard Part Six. Oh no. That is controversy. Is that a Blu-ray? That's our first yes, Blu-ray that's though. First Blu-ray we gotten. Oh boy. Uh, these are you know yeah. these were some weird goofy. I've ones. never seen either uh, of them. So I've seen I haven't seen Leonard Part Six. But I said Ghost seen Dad. Ghost I at Dad. least know of. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, th- these are interesting ones. Uh, this is Cosby at his worst in the eighties, uh, without a well, without question. Well, in film, in film, <laughs> not at his worst. Um, I'm going to see if I can find somebody because at some point we're going to get a package that somebody sent a note on Facebook with, and I want to make sure they they um, get their just. They, they said I forgot to put a note in it, and then they added one on Facebook. Gotcha. So when we get there, this is from David in New York. This next one, I'm going to cut open here. I'm cutting very narrowly at the end to avoid cutting it. Oh, there we go. To avoid doing what we did to uh, other packages. Ooh. All right. So here's our note. Hey, guys. I figured you could use a little Uwe Boll schlock in your catalog. Everybody knows House of the Dead, so here are a few of his real gems. Fun fact, the budget for Far Cry, I didn't know they made a Far Cry movie, was $30 million, and it did 743000 bucks. So here, let me see what we got here. Uh, Looks like we got two. We got Alone in the Dark. And we got Far, Far Cry, Cry, which I was completely unaware they made a film of. I knew about I knew Alone, Alone in the Dark. Dark. Yeah, I didn't know Far Cry. Um, and then we got the DVDs here. So, which, uh, I mean, Far Cry makes sense. Just go to a tropical place and shoot a lot of people. Anyway, uh, big fan. Keep doing what you do. Uh, from David. P.S. My Instagram is... I'll, I'll plug your Instagram. My Instagram is at David... David Drews. David, David Dr- his name's David Bruce. His Instagram's at David Bruce. If you want that out there, you put it on the notes. Yep, so, yep. big New York Rangers fan. Congrats on the Stanley Cup. Thank you. Uh, I would root for you. Hope say you hope you win one uh, soon. But we're gonna win hey, the next six. So Yankees aren't doing bad this year. I don't know if he's a baseball fan oh, or not. Well, he whatever. just said specifically the Rangers. But um, all right. So there's two more movies. Kyle, open up the oh, next God. one. This one looks interesting. This one's big and girthy. <laughs> Open up. So this one has a note, and it's also somebody sent us Brian their novella. Oh, more books! Yeah, we we'll, we'll do a little Ooh, quick dramatic. This one reading. even has a ISBN number. There you go. That one's a real. So, there we go. Yeah, let me see one. Uh, this is the boxcar bop. The boxcar bop, a novella. Uh, what was the name on the envelope? I threw it it was uh, TC. I guess I could. Since we're plugging their book, I guess I'll say the author's name. T.C. Pescatore? Yep. Oh, all right. T.C. Um, Pescatore. And E.P. Hari sent us the uh, the other stuff, the Bill Cosby movies. Mm-hmm. They're a patron. It, I remember that did, name from yeah, Patreon. I, did, I just didn't know if I wanted to add the oh, Hari. Uh, they're, they're on Patreon on, with the same name, so and yeah. they comment and stuff. Oh, so we got a little... I got a little... Uh, Junction City comic sticker in mine. I don't nice, know if the front nice. of yours has one in there. Um, I got a... Teenage Bigfoot Philly. <laughs> That's pretty dope. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I love I love the Phillies mascot. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. You know, we're getting enough stickers now. We need something where we can put all the stickers on it. But we also got... Oh, the bookcases we buy. We'll stick them on all the We also got bookcases. a letter. And this sucker was... Typed. Tape. Or... T- uh, like, literally typed. Literally writer. a typewriter typed. Yep. Uh, GB or BB, the best compliment I can give you is I'm not sure... What I'm more, what I'm more, what I'm happy about more, that I discovered Neil Breen, or that he led me to you. <laughs> there you go. In an attempt to repay you, I then closed two copies of my surrealist novella, The Boxcar Bop. I figured if you'd enjoy bad good films, good in parentheses there, uh, you might like this too. Love, Tom. Great. Thanks. I, I think we lucked out and gave each other the right copies because on the dedication page in this one, it says for Joe, Milo, and Otis, and then written in and Brian. Yes. <laughs> so oh, I think you got the Kyle way, one way, probably. P.S. Each book has a personal dedication buried inside. Look at that. P.P.S. Go Blues from Philly, but happy to see. <laughs> Let's uh, go Blues. <laughs> happy to see like, Bur- Barub. Baruby. Because he was in Philly for a while. Yeah. 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 And uh, Shin. Hoist the Brave cup. Shen, yeah. yep. Awesome. But wasn't Shin was was Shin part of the? Oh, that's that's Pittsburgh that won back to back, right? Yeah, yeah, and Shin wasn't on that team. Yeah. Um, uh, Sunquist was Oscar Sunquist, I think, played for the Penguins when they won. Keep this copy, and about and in about a hundred to two hundred years from now, you can review the feature film. Um, oh boy, uh, give me a reading. Wait, hang are, on. Are you hang on your dedication? Uh, Joe, Milo, uh, uh, Otis, and Kyle. Um, 
I promise, I, I promise, um, I promise out at no point. I oh. promise at no point the story will, will you be forced to see my boomies. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. No, no boomies. Mm-hmm. There's some very interesting formatting going on yes, as I flip yes. through here. Uh, stuff like that. That's very yeah, interesting for me. Uh, he said it was a surrealist novel. Um, what? He was not kidding. No. And this guy enjoys himself some typewriter action. Oh, there you go. <laughs> here we go. I'm just reading a random uh, page 62 here. That looks like the beginning of a chapter. The boxcar bop with an exclamation point. A study of the historical significance of the rail car. Cotton candy sky. Yes, lofty plains. A mile high. I swear it. The yellow hole of the Union Pacific a locomotive engine distorted by swath of boreal blue sashes. Pink cracked hitches. Purple molds of crosshatch western wisps. Red faded letters painted long ago. 1970 refurbished, retrofitted, and converted to high-speed passenger tail. Metallic frames spell true. Memories of ghost towns drift past and smell of dust. Static odor. Sweet smell of musty. Long Lost sneezes. So that's just a little Man sample. loves himself some alliteration. Uh, yeah, and uh, doesn't love commas. Or no, there are quite a bit of commas. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, that looks interesting. The boxcar bop, check it out. Yep. It's a little tough to explain what it might be because it looks like it's written by a crazy person. So, <laughs> well, I just mean Which, the formatting is true. It's very strange, uh, and it's a little... Oh, it's even got an author uh, bio in the back. I'm ready for that. Oh, cool. All right. We'll so there we later. go. Um, I'm going to put that... Back in there. Oh, just so many of them. Dig into the next one. This is from Robert in Washington, D.C. What do we got here? DVD and a note. Hey, guys. Looks like it's written on a receipt. (laughs) It's not. It's like receipt paper, though. Oh, boy. Uh, But it's not a receipt. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoy one of my favorite 80s schlock movies, The Wraith. Never heard of this. The Wraith. Um, It's a... It features Charlie Sheen as a spirit of vengeance and the notebook director oh. Nick Cassavetes as a switchblade wielding psychopath. It also has Randy Quaid. Oh boys! I'm back! Y'all show is my favorite part of every second Friday. Keep up the great work, Bob. Oh, it's Thank got you, music Bob. with Billy Idol as well. Uh, a bizarre and brutal band of road pirates force innocent drivers into drag races. I assume they mean car races, <laughs> not, 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 not RuPaul drag races. Then a mysterious stranger arrives in a Dodge Turbo Interceptor, sponsored TM. Um, the stranger is the Wraith, a mysterious otherworldly figure who has a destiny to fulfill and a woman's love to reclaim. He's determined to wage a vendetta against the young punks who ruined his life. So Charlie Se- Sheen, walnuts falling on my roof. Uh, Charlie, I was like, what was that? Yeah, walnuts. Charlie Sheen is the Wraith. Uh, I assume it's he's the wraith. Uh, oh, he looks a little bit boy. like um, uh, Robo Vampire, the 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 RoboCop knockoff yeah. guy on the cover. But yeah, the wraith. We'll check that one out. Let me double check. There's nothing inside. No. Okay. I'm gonna put your note in there for future reference. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this one. We're almost to the boxes. We got a few more before we get to the big box. We got some big. I think we boxes got. I think we, yep. Are... We got an O Canada one. O Canada Saints from us uh, from Ontario. St. Kath, I think is what it says. There you go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this one yeah. open. It looks like you might just be able to peel the tape on the back, or is it? No, you can cut it maybe. It might be yeah. easier. I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't tell Kyle to rip anything. It always ends poorly. Oh, boy. We got... What do we got? Oh, oh, I God, hear a things lot of clanking. Stuff. Is that one of the ones that said fragile? One of the, A couple of these say fragile on them. I got the note here. We got... Let me read the note. It's very short. I have one of those somewhere. Hey, dudes, here's a care package that I think you will quite enjoy. Cheers, Tony. That's a Loot Crate special. I had that. It used to be in the background of the old studio, I think. I think I got rid of it. I like like a T2. There you go, yeah. A little Judgment Day I remember that from the Loot Crate. This is from Tony. Thank you, Tony. Uh, We got Crime Zone. Crime Zone. That's a great cover. Holy cow. The art is actually awesome. It it looks like... Judge Dredd. Yeah. Yeah. um, Also, Cobra. Oh, yeah, a little bit. But, yeah, the helmet reminds me of Judge mm-hmm. Dredd a lot, yeah. I mean, it is. let's face it, Judge Dredd and Cobra, both Stallone. This is yeah. nothing but Stallone. Give me a little little, little reading of the back there. Oh, is that I got a poster in it? I don't know if we got that. We, oh, we got cards and everything in this. Oh, it's the whole deal. Oh, oh there's cards. Oh, my cards. God. Yes, Let me check see those these. out. Okay, so we got the Crime Zone trading card, Psy Warrior Special Combat Unit. Rotor. Rotor. 
And Rotor. Revoc.com. I guess this is just like a I don't know. Movie site. Here, let me see something. it real quick. But Crime Zone. Crime is eliminated in the post-nuclear fascist world of tomorrow. Citizens are constantly watched by cameras. The ultra rich extend their lives by hibernation. Hibernation? I love that. So you just sleep for a long time. <laughs> and cage beauties <laughs> dispense a sl- state sanctioned sex. Nice. <laughs> wait, wait. This holy crap, this is basically AI. I haven't seen AI. Or if I have, it's been a long time. Uh just just replace like cage beauties with sex robots. Oh, right, yeah. Uh trapped in trapped in this police state that divides uh society, two young lovers seem doomed to live as subgrades unless they can somehow escape the crime zone. The crime zone. The crime zone. David Carradine stars with Two Moon Junction's Sherilyn Fenn and newcomer Peter Nelson in this sci-fi thriller packed with action in the tradition of Death Race 2000. You pull the trigger if they get me. Will they ever escape the crime zone? We also got a Star Wars figures fantasy. Whoa! Which is, just looks like a bunch of regular photos that figurines were put into. <laughs> All right. That also rem- is probably might have been a loot crate special. Maybe. Yeah, that one looks a little Oh, weird. I have I actually have this over my bookcase over there. Now we have two of them. You can take this one, Kyle, cuz I actually have it on my bookcase awesome. right there. And hang on. Still got more stuff. We oh, got a on. old-fashioned 90s. Oh no, a little wing tip. Yeah, keychain. Yep, it Wing tip broke off. This man but, uh, gifted us all of his loot crate yeah. stuff. I'm on Tim you, bud. Tim, Tim Burton, Batman. <laughs> I have. I had a lot of this stuff from when I was getting loot. Got crate. an alien. Uh, I'm not sure what this I is. I didn't it's get just that a one. Poster. Thing. Yeah, but it's made of metal. Or like, and yeah, then finally aluminum. a uh, steam dope. whistle bottle opener. Does it make noise when you open or something? No, uh, it's just a no. Okay, no. no. Cool. So yeah, I actually really cool. like this alien one. I didn't get this, um, and it's a cool. It's like the Japanese or. I don't know what language that is, but um, it's pretty cool. Thank you for your loot crate. Thank you for your loot crate stuff. <laughs> uh, all right. I already opened this next one. I'm going to try to... I really need to get those bookcases. I'm going I'm to order them after we're done here. I found the ones we need. All right. Nice. Uh, this is direct from Amazon. A gift for you. They sent a little gift note with it. Nice. Hello, my fiance and I love your show. I'm a teacher from Wichita, Kansas, and watching your show helps me relax after a long day of work. Keep those kids in line. Please review this movie. I'm sure you've heard of it. Have fun. Keep up the great work, Megan. Now I'm shot. I don't know what this is. So Brian, I'm gonna re- slowly reveal. It. You know what it is. Everybody knows what it is. We didn't have a copy of it. Uh, it's one of those classics. Oh, sugar. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, the Blu-ray of Showgirls, which, yes, this has been recommended several times. I remember seeing this movie, like, late night on VH1. Oh, they used God. to play it, but they used to do the yeah. thing where they drew terrible CG bikinis on all the boobs. <laughs> Instead of blurring it, they would, like, put, like, oh. fake swimsuits over mm-hmm. them. It was hilarious when it was on TV. Uh, Paul Verhoeven, um, great filmmaker at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 whatchamacallit is amazing. Uh, Starship Troopers is incredible. That's Verhoeven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a it's a it's a classic and bad movie. You're, you're totally missing uh, Fairhaven's the best one, RoboCop. Well, in RoboCop, yeah, I, I actually prefer. I'm a bigger fan of uh, Starship. Starship Troopers, but it, yeah, it, well, Starship Troopers is more uh, comedy esque, more than, satirical. Yeah. I like the yeah, I, I'm a fan of it. But I, I mean, I like RoboCop too. But yeah, I, I, I anyways, uh, sensual, controversial, available. <laughs> Here, put some ice in them. <laughs> Oh, that one right. See ya, Pollyanna. I forgot I was going to say this too at the beginning. Uh, we had people keep asking, on, oh, I sent you a thing and you didn't open it in this last package thing. We open these and then we record it and then it comes out weeks later. So we, pro- we haven't gotten it yet. It's like this stuff all came in June and you're probably seeing this maybe at the beginning of August or at the end of July. So there's a delay between when we open stuff, when it comes out, when we... Your stuff is, hopefully came. Uh, one person, I do need to go pick up your thing from the post office. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that we had one of these. Um, but I'll go do that. So, uh, and this is for a different company that used to rent our P.O. box. So, <laughs> that for, wait, wait, wait. It's for, uh, you want to see what it is? Yes, That's fine. Yes. It's for Spartech Polycom. <laughs> so, Spartech Poly. Let's open it. 
Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna. Where's my? Uh, I'm gonna open this. Uh, this right. feels like a framed painting or something or a picture. Mm -hmm. This is from Josh, who I believe is a Patreon supporter. I know he's on Facebook. Um, what time are we at there? Um, right at it. Let's. We got. I can do it real quick. It Ooh. is a framed thing. Okay. I'm gonna show this first, and then hopefully the. What? what? Oh! Oh! Oh, do you know what this is? You pizza face cinder block! Ah! <laughs> All right, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. Elvin Fling! <laughs> that's yes! That's amazing! Oh, I, I like, love you so what? much! I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you pizza face cinder block. Well, keep in mind, block. the last time we opened weird right. shit from, oh, uh, I don't know, right. Janice Click. Oh, okay, so this is from Josh, uh, who I've seen on Facebook, and probably, prob I think he's a patron, I can't remember. Hey guys, my name is Josh from South Carolina, just wanted to drop a gift in the P.O. Box, show how appreciative we all are of your videos. Seen them all multiple times, can't stop watching them. Top three moments for Josh from South Carolina. Number one, Kyle's reaction to Battlefield Earth. Nuff said, haha, I'm assuming he means your reaction to finding out who <laughs> was the- I, I still haven't recovered. Hell or high water. What the- <laughs> <laughs> What What? What? The DP, uh, the cinematographer for this movie, <laughs> is the same guy who was. This. I knew that was gonna be your reaction. I knew it was gonna blow your mind. Yeah. Number two, Brian's rant. Everybody spells my name wrong, by the way. Brian with a Y. It's on the screen. Jerks. <laughs> Not an I. Brian with a Y. Doesn't matter. Um, Brian's rant about why your mom bought the Adventures of Billy Owens. <laughs> Classic. Fuck you. You'll never know. Go fuck yourself, you dumb kid. You got your mom to rent this video for $8 so she can sit you down in front of the fucking TV and go jerk off in the bathtub and not fucking look at your shitty little face for fucking five minutes. That's why this movie exists. And that's why you're watching it. <laughs> And number three, last but not least, and the reason I sent this picture, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. All right, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, man. We appreciate uh, it. This will be going on the wall somewhere. The Absolutely. Pizza face cinder block. It's so good. Well, I can't go here because the bookcase is going to be here, but we'll put it back there somewhere. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, not horribly mutilate this. You pizza, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. I'm scared. I'm gonna open the Janus Click one next. We got another package from Janus Click, and oh I'm terrified. Boy. It's like an actual package this time that says "fragile." So I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's just because I destroyed it last time. <laughs> that's trip. You might be right. Handle with care. Okay, uh, so I think this might be the one that had the uh, <clears throat> cookies and stuff. In oh god, that's gonna be lovely sound. Uh, it had. A bunch oh, of, so many DVDs. It had a bunch of Walmart bags in it, and there's, oh my god, so, so many, many DVDs. DVDs. Thank you for the Walmart bags that are no longer recyclable uh, yeah, in our I'm area. Have, I'll, I, I'll, we, we, I'll take them separately to the recycling. They won't go in the trash, they won't go in the landfill. They will All right. be recycled. Uh, I'll do four and you do four. Okay. We got. But who are this from? Is there a note or uh, anything? It is from our flag. Okay. So uh, Rick if, Flag isn't that? Uh, is isn't Rick that Flag's a Suicide character Squad, in, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Flag from Suicide Squad. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick check and see if any of these have a note in them. Mine don't. So. Okay. So we're gonna do the quick version of these. Yeah. All right. So first things first. Hard as nails. When a male oh, American boy. member of the Japanese mafia assumes power, death, and deception await anyone who gets in his way. Caught in the crossfire betrayal and slashing swords, a gangster must figure out how, how to survive to must fight to survive an uncertain future in a world of betrayal and deception. He must be hard as nails. Strong to violence, sexuality, language, some drug use. Boom. Where's okay. one? Uh, this this one's too long, but I will continue with it. Uh, yeah. This one's called Ninja Buster. The thing, so All fine. these are, I'm pretty sure are going to have to do with martial arts to some degree. Yeah. Uh, uh, this movie is this is a movie that you need 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 to see and is often unintentionally hilarious sometimes and <laughs> is intentionally often? hilarious and often unintentionally okay. hilarious. Uh, that's part of its charm nowadays. Ninja Busters. It kind of looks like, uh, on the cover, just reminds me of uh, Miami Connection. Yes, like exactly. Like the, the gang of karate f fools. All right, next one is Rush Week, which I think they might have done on Red Letter Media recently or something. I can't remember. Rush Week frat parties and outrageous pranks are happening all over the college in California. Homicidal maniac lurks amid the craziness, and college girls are disappearing faster than beers of a kegger. Uh, so it's, it's like a horror movie about uh, college kids dying. I think this was on Red Letter Media. I could be wrong. Next. Can you hear her screaming? It's Jokel. Jokel. The curse la, la, of the weeping la, 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 woman. Rona. 
Uh, the terrifying legend of Jaquel might just be true. While searching for her missing sister, George learns that the haunting details of the Jaquel legend, a woman who drowned her own baby centuries ago and whose spirit has returned to claim more children as her own. There you go. So that's weird. Uh, next one. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde starring, or Mrs. Hyde, Miss Hyde starring Sean Young. Uh, a childhood crush of mine. Helen Hyde wants the doctor's body. She doesn't. She just doesn't want him in it at the same time. Uh, a comedy about the experiment that got way out of control. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So we comedy. got family entertainment from uh, New Concord. The kid with the x-ray specs. I'm pretty sure this is Reese from Malcolm in the Middle. That absolutely looks like okay. Reese from Malcolm uh, in the Middle. 12-year-old Bobby can't wait to grow up. He dreams of dangerous car chases and saving beautiful women. Okay. Uh, and becoming a top secret spy. There you go. Well, it's Agent Cody Banks. It is. <laughs> way ahead of Reese. time. <laughs> With Reese instead of fucking... Oh, God. When you find a special pair of glasses, Bobby thinks his dreams have come true. With the new specs on, Bobby discovers that he has x-ray vision, can see through any th- or through everything, which doesn't help because you can see through people, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Although it's fun is short-lived when Bobby begins, it more gets more than he can bargain. Uh, it also has Robert Carradine in it. Uh, David Carradine's brother, brother, also from uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, shit gets real because now he's... The cover, he's himself. staring at a, yes. ba- a bathing clad or bathing suit lady with yeah, his x-ray that, specs. She's also a skeleton. Oh, he can see her bones. Yeah. There you go. Next one, uh, Wes Craven's Vampire in Brooklyn starring <laughs> Eddie Murphy and Angela Bassett. What I've never the heard hell? of this. I love the blurb on the back. Eddie Murphy's best ever exclamation point. Eddie Murphy's got the bite stuff in this movie mix of bone chilling, bone chilling horror and chill out comedy directed by Wes Craven. Uh, so he's a vampire. Uh, there you go. Well, yeah, Eddie Murphy, the vampire next. And then finally, I was waiting to see when we get one of these or you have one more left. Yeah, but uh, we got a Gary Daniel film. Gary Daniels, a uh, martial arts guy from the 90s. That's oh, all you okay. know. Uh, this one's Hold Recoil. It more toward the... Th- yeah. Recoil there you go. Uh, with Gary Daniels. Uh, martial arts master Gary Daniels stars in this uh, this thrill ride about a renegade mobster and a cop with a score to settle. When the police kill a vicious crime boss, uh, mobster Vincent Sloan unleashes a bloodbath on the police force like nothing the city has ever seen. His target detective, Ray Moore, one by one, Moore's partners are gunned down. Uh, his family is murdered, and Moore has nothing left to live for except revenge. Becoming a one-man army, uh, he goes on the ultimate hunt for justice. So basically, Frank Castle. Yeah, cool. Recoil. And the last one we have here is the Headhunter, which looks like he's wearing some armor they stole from the set of Lord of the Rings, like from the or orcs. Or Dark Souls. Or Dark Souls, yeah. Uh, on the outskirts of a kingdom, a quiet but fierce medieval warrior protects the realm from monsters in the occult. So, like The Witcher or, yeah, like Dark Souls, maybe? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never played it. His gruesome collection of heads is missing only one, the monster that killed his daughter years ago. Driven by a thirst for revenge, he travels with expanses on horseback, uses sorcery to aid his quest, and his, when his second chance <laughs> arrives, it's in a way far more horrifying than he ever imagined. It is kind of giving me... Uh, um. By the way, uh, not only that, it it does look a little bit like, quote unquote, Game of Thrones-ish. And look at the uh, tag at the bottom. Vengeance is coming. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so interesting. His helmet's very distinct and interesting looking. But uh, yeah, we'll check it out. It's um, uh, There's no names that I recognize on the back here, so... But yeah, the headhunter. Right, let's get that. Whole bunch more movies. One. All right. Uh, this is from the Janus Click people. If you recall from the last one of these, which means it's going to be weird. Uh, so that's exciting. Yep. Can't wait to see what's in here. Let's do this. Okay, didn't destroy the... Didn't destroy it. They sent two. Weird oh and boy. Creepy by Janice Click. Thank you. Weird and Creepy. It's uh, This is yep, a poodle boy. Yep. He lives in the closet under the stairs. I see him. I always see him. He is always there. Each time I see him, he gets closer. Do not look at her. Do, do whatever it takes to not look. Sell your eyes shut so everyone else is... Oh, scary faces. Scary. So, yeah. We got our our, our, <laughs> our meme horror here. Oh, boy. Yeah, this... And then, and, this one and actually then, has a thing at the end here. Weird and Creepy is a Janice.click product. Stories and pictures by Stephen Reifsteck. So I guess you don't care that your name's out there. Owns and operates all things Janice.click. I'm not sure if you miscounted pages, but there Ooh. is just completely blank. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I think that's intentional. <laughs> okay. it's, it's like it's it's copy. It's 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 spooky pasta. Is you know spooky it's spooky pasta. Sp- I like spooky it. Pa- you never heard of spooky pasta? Spooky pasta. Oh God. It's a wooden box with with runes on it, Kyle. What? what? And it's broken. Why? <laughs> that might be because then that might have this might have happened in the mail. That might have happened in the mail. I fragile. Don't know. I mean, it's fragile, but you put it in just like a. Are, are you prepared to open this? No. Are you prepared to take the responsibility of opening it's this? It's got runes on it, Kyle. Oh boy. It's got a note that says, "Don't rip these, <laughs> don't rip these books, fuckers." Get, there you go. Get those nat. Oh, I think you ripped. Oh no! Did you rip something in the top? Oh no! I totally did. Oh no! I'm sorry, whoever you are. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> From Janice. P.S. I'm coming to see you soon. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, oh boy. They are not human. Uh, is the? It's a, it's a, it looks like a short film from the people who made the. Again. They are not human. From the creatures of basement in a house comes a movie about those things that walk among us, but are not quite like you and I. They are not human. The newest production from Janice.Click delves deep into the psyche of psychosis and seeks to find out what really touches you deep down in the dark, subterranean nether regions of your mind. We didn't rip it this time. Yay. And it's got a creepy face burned into the <laughs> I really, I, you know what? I will say this, Janice.Click people, uh, Steven, I appreciate your production values. You're, you know, you're going out of your way here. Uh, I enjoy it. That's a fun little creepy pasta. Isn't really my thing. Doesn't really. Do I don't a know. Lot. What, I don't know. Doesn't what really it is. do a lot for me. It's just like spooky stories on the internet that people send. Or you know, I, it's not my thing. But I, I appreciate your uh, commitment, and uh, it, it seems adequately spooky. Some of your videos did. I was like, yep, that's spooky. That's okay, creepy. so we got another piece from E.P. Hari. Oh, okay. Like many possibilities inside. <laughs> yes, which means there's gonna be a lot of movies in here. Oh boy. Oh god. Open, damn it. Oh good god. Lots of movies. Sweet Jesus. So somebody sent a comment last time saying, why don't you guys, hey, they're sending you the movies. You should watch every single one of them. It's like, motherfucker. Yeah, we'll watch every single yeah, one of them. Yeah, get right on that. Uh, and here's the thing. The next one we're doing. Is a fan recommendation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are doing the next one. Of, we, like I said, we're doing them. All right, so I'll go first this time. All right. We got the original Casino Royale with Peter Sellers. Uh, th- oh, he's got a note on this one. This is not the coolest. Wait, or is this? I think there's a note on. There's a note on this one too. Not a note on this one. Anyways, nope. this one note says, uh, "This is the not the coolest of spy films. Not even close, but it is psychedelic Bond at points. And this is an officially licensed Bond film, just licensed by a different group than the one who puts out the regular Bond movies." Uh, Peter Sellers quit the movie in the middle of production. Orson Welles interrupted the story to perform his magic act, <laughs> and it's got an Oscar-nominated song. So the original Casino Royale. So what I got, got? the uh, Edison Death Machine. Which I imagine is some sort of cyberpunkish, uh, old timey film, but uh, let's see. Did the machine exist? Some swear they saw it. Edison died. He died. When he died, everything was destroyed. Uh, and wh- what if one survived? What if one of the death machines that Edison created survived? I'm lost. You're I'm losing so me. <laughs> okay, so basically, when Edison died, all of his in- his un Realized inventions or his horrible secrets were destroyed, but one of them survived. Nice. Cool. So, there you go. Next one. Act- Actia Maximus, War of the Alien Dinosaurs, directed by Mark Hicks. This is distributed by Troma, um, but it looks a bit like an alien sci-fi n- terrible looking movie. Uh, with an oh, I love this. Hold on, I gotta read this first sentence. With an intricate story mythology not seen since the Dark Crystal, Actia Maximus: War of the Alien Dinosaurs is an ambitious and truly independent science fiction fantasy ideal for genre fans and features inventive animated special effects. There you go. So Act- Actia Maximus. Uh, we also got Manborg. 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 What? I'm the becoming hell? more human. The <laughs> more Manborgian. Yes. 
the the armies of hell have taken over Earth, and all that stands in the way of the villainous Count Draculon and the uh, in humanity's total extinction is a motley crew of misfits. Well, the guy on the front kind of reminds me of they're going for like an Ash well, from uh, they, they're led Evil by Dead. the they're led by the mighty Manborg, yeah, a warrior who is half man, half machine, and all hero. There you go. Boy, so this one's interesting. It also includes, I think, it includes a second film, Biocop. Yeah, this one also had a second film, uh, Star Worms Two, <laughs> which actually sounds more interesting. Star Worms. All right, next one. I this one's exciting to me. Avengers, Grim, <laughs> a new league of superhero classic fantasy characters. Have you never seen them before? I'm thinking this might be similar to um, League of Extraordinary Ember Gentlemen. Days. Uh, or like where it's like oh, fantasy characters, but they're battling. It stars Casper Van Dien and Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> and Kimo Leopoldo, who, and I don't know who that is. All right. Uh, that is uh, Avengers Grimm. That looks like it has potential, in uh, my opinion. So this one is called Ooh. Hotbot. Hotbot. Turn her on. And there you go. It's a s- sexy robot. After being discovered by two teenage virgins, a futuristic sex box decides she doesn't want to be a sex worker anymore. So, okay. Yeah. Sounds, it's yeah. a comedy from the Polish brothers. I, unfortunately, I don't recognize anybody except Larry Miller. He's the only name in here that I recognize. So, uh, then we have a happily ever after four pack with the true story of Puss in Boots, Donkey X, Kiara the Brave and Gnomes and Trolls. I don't know if this is um, I, knockoff. Those are absolutely not. Those are absolutely those first two are knockoff sh- uh, Shrek without yeah. question. And Donkey Shrek is, X is terrifying. That is DreamWorks. Yeah. So, all right. Sorry, Disney. DreamWorks. Yeah. Um, and then Kiara the Brave. She's a redheaded chick, and it's a ripoff of Braves. And then I assume Gnomes, Gnomes and Trolls <laughs> is a ripoff of the Gnome movie that came out. Is this the porn? No, oh. maybe. I wish. That would be great. Because there's the pirate uh, yes. porn. Uh, Pirates of the Great Salt Lakes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mormon pirates, Kyle? Hang on, hang on. Tell me it's Mormon pirates. <laughs> I wish. Okay, pirates talk so salty, you won't believe your buccaneers. <laughs> All right, you got me with the tagline movie. You fucking got me with the tagline. The guy on the front's face, the main pirate's face, yeah. is so great. Okay, Kirk is a dorky dreamer who lives at home with his mom until her disapproval of his secret pirate life forces him to move out on his own. Oh, God, taking a lovable loser Flint as his first mate, they set sail for the Great Salt Lake, stopping ashore to plunder unsuspecting picnickers and wreaking havoc among all landlubbers who get in their way. (laughs) When they stumble across a genuine cursed treasure map, these buccaneers are soon pursued by a host of kooky characters all on a quest for riches beyond imagination. More fun than a bottle of rum, Pirates of the Great Salt Lake is a fresh tale about two misfits who find true friendship while living out their wildest fantasies. It that looks fantastic. That is amazing. It, I Every, don't know what this, this box is. art, like the, the cover box art, art is amazing. The tagline, yeah. the description on the back, it's all this great. is grade A amazing. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, then the last one I have here is, which I think we've mentioned this before, is or you've mentioned it maybe, Max Magician and the Legend of the Rings. Uh, Max Magician and the Legend of the Rings, magical tale about young Max, a shy, bullied boy. His life is forever changed when he receives. Didn't we? Yes. Talk, yeah. uh, I I think I already got that film once. Yeah. So now we got an extra copy. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Matt, I don't know if you. Have, yeah. But anyways. Um, a fantasy epic in the tradition of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, although it looks like it's older than Harry Potter, so I don't know. At least it looks like it is. Maybe it's not. Um, but yeah, Max Magician and the Legend of the Rings. It was five fifty at Walmart at one point. So there you go. Nice. All right. So this is the uh, Twelve Assassins from Hell with one objective: kill Bruce. The dragon lives again. So this. So it's a Bruce is, Lee knockoff. Yeah, yeah but or like here's the thing: it stars Bruce Lee, I believe, with an eye. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So uh, nothing like is prepared. L.I.? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the most mind-boggling karate movie ever made. Nothing will prepare you for this old-school slice of cinema slopped from the golden era of chop of uh, chop sake films? I'm not familiar with that. Okay, uh, as 
everyone's favorite martial artist, Bruce, winds up fighting for his life and soul in hell against an evil warlord intent on making him mincemeat. So this is Bruce Lee dies in real life, goes to hell and has to fight his way out. I that's guess so. Dope. I, I'm into that. So yeah, that one's uh, that one's interesting. And there, there were in, in the late '80s, I think there were a lot of films early in late, just throughout the '80s. There were a lot of films with starring Bruce Lee, and sometimes it would either be Li or Ellie. And I think oh. this was our cookies one. This is from Ross K. Wolf, who is a patron and uh, other supporter. A lot more Walmart fucking. Bags. Oh my god. Oh, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of presents in here, Kyle. There's, I mean, no, I'm, I'm just saying there's all kinds of presents. Cool. I want to make sure I don't throw anything away. So first thing, which is interesting, we have these earrings are a wedding present. So these are for Katie. Uh, my wife makes chainmail jewelry and accessories. So these are handmade. We hope Katie likes them. Also, I hope I spelled Katie's name correctly. You did. How much you want to bet he spelled my name incorrectly? <laughs> Uh, but just as a little plug, if you're looking for some handmade chainmail jewelry and accessories, check out Lady of the Rings chainmail. And these are cool. These are little. Um, let's see if I can get them out here. I have a friend who does that as a hobby too. Yeah, they're little uh, chainmail earrings. Nice. They're, kinda, they're dope. Yeah, they're pretty so cool. those are neat. I always thought the chainmail jewelry is kind of neat. Neat little things. We all see it at the Ren Fair when we go. So that's the first thing. Second thing. Cookies. Hopefully these are still good. They're also homemade. Slightly terrifying. Not that I don't trust you, but please enjoy these oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Hopefully the Ziploc bag kept them from drying out. There's enough to share if you want to. You don't have to, though. I'm not your mom. Oh, my God. They, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the Ziploc, um, fortunately, the Ziploc bags did not. Uh, they, um, they turned into rocks. Minor rocks. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. They did not make it. I didn't let um, it sit Also, so also, like we said, it's not that we don't trust you. Um, I'll try a little nibble. Baked goods are never a good thing to, to send post box for two reasons. One, you don't know when we're going to pick it up. Yeah. And two, it's kind of weird to get baked goods. I'm going to try mail. a bite just cut. Very dry. <laughs> not, not, that's not on you. The gum. Just right. go. All right, all right. I'll, uh... Very, like, dry. Go for again, it. Again, I think that's not your fault. Like you said, you were hoping the bags kept them from drying out. They did not. I also don't know how long these were in there. Very they dry. are tasty, though. Mm -hmm. They are quite tasty. I appreciate it. So... Very stale at this point. Yeah, a little stale, but appreciate the thought, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Next thing, we got... No, oh, more earrings for Katie. Little, like, uh... They look like fishing lures. <laughs> Brian and Kyle have died from botulism. <laughs> that, that's only due to time. That's not due to you poisoning us. A little, uh, that's really cool. Yeah, those are cool, too. Like little scale male ones. Mm -hmm. Katie will be excited for her presents. I don't think you can get botulism in baked goods. I don't know. <laughs> those in, like, canned things. <laughs> Anyways. Do I look like I'm an expert? No. Um, and then, finally, we have a bunch of movies. Hey, guys. It's me again. I go thrifting a lot, and I found some stuff. I hope you can use Ross... We appreciate the VHS stuff. This is going to be a bit more challenging to grab. So, first one, I got to talk about this because I used to love this movie as a let kid. Me, let me trade you that for okay. obvious reasons. Oh, okay. This is Star Kid. Did you ever watch Star Kid? I watched I watched this as a kid. I remember loving it. There's like the last Star Child. Yeah, this is Star Kid. It, it's the, the the actor in it. The kid actor is the, the, the little boy from Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. He plays Star Kid. Um, and he, he finds a spaceship and he basically turns into Iron Man, I think. I remember watching it as a kid and thinking it was awesome, but it's probably terrible. Uh, kick some alien butt. What it does have, though, is a dope holographic cover. That's that's pretty dope. Yeah, so there you go. Star Kid. Uh, we also got Star Kid and Time Stalker. Wait, hang on. I think this is Oh, uh, is this a sequel? Oh, oh okay. no, 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 it's two, two films. Okay. Uh, Time Stalker has Willem Devane, which I think, wasn't that the uh, guy from, the bad guy from Rough Cut? It looks, it looks very similar to him. Yeah, that's him for yeah, sure. So uh, we have, so I guess it's the bad guy from Rough Cut and he's an avid fan of the American frontier. So I'm guessing this is going to be some time travel stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Traveling through time 600 years. There you go. Uh, this is for Brian. If he and Katie want to follow up their Wizard of Oz episode of This Film is Lit, which we did on our podcast. And it is the classic Return to Oz nice. VHS that is very brown at this point. <laughs> but uh, this movie is actually looks pretty wild. I've always wanted to watch it, but never have. I won't be watching it on this VHS that looks like it doesn't work anymore. But it is a, a fun looking movie and it's really also, weird. Also, read that note again. How did they spell your name? They spelled it right. 
Good job, Ross, with the Y. You're the only person to spell it right. <laughs> okay, I. Uh, this person has, I remember loving and hating this movie for how bad it was. Not 100% sure if it was quite bad enough for your show, but they're hoping. So it is, however, The Phantom. Uh, which, by oh. the way, by the way, is still in syndication in your Sunday morning uh, comics. Yeah. So really. Mm-hmm. Wow. And yeah, this one looks uh, fantastically bad. It's also got the holographic cover, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then the last movie. Here's some more by Aerostorm. These are those ones that were like the fantasy movies that he sent. Uh, it's Christmas themed. No Dean Kane, unfortunately. And this one is called The Christmas Dragon. <laughs> Follow the magic. Wow. Uh, the wizard looks great on here. Oh, his beard is just a thing of oh, beauty. Oh, yes. Uh, but it's uh, medieval Europe. Father Christmas is a fading memory after Christmas hasn't come for several years. A uh, young orphan girl, Aiden, receives a magical crystal from dying elf with a warning that the North has lost its magic and that she alone can save Christmas. Aiden and her orphan friends begin a perilous journey and must escape dragons, goblins, bandits, ogres, and other fantasy creatures. So they team up with the Ark, the wayward son of Father Christmas, to return his stolen Christmas orb to the North. There you go. Christmas fantasy action flick. Uh, we'll check it out. I'm also very amazed that you found Return to Oz unopened. Yeah, on VHS. It's a cool... It's it's cool. It's falling apart. It's yeah, like, very much. It looks like it was in a fire or something, but <laughs> still. All right, and I believe... That is that everything. That is everything. That is so, so much, stuff. much stuff. I have to order these bookcases because we're out of room. Yes. we got to put these stuff somewhere. So, anyways... That was all the stuff this time around. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. We will try our best to get through all the things that we can. Well, well, there's literally 50 movies already that we have. I mean, that's like a straight week of our lives gone. Yeah. But uh, we we, we check them all out and, you know, do a little Google search and look and see if there's potential there and if we can find them somewhere online. So, yeah, any, all that good stuff. Thank you for everything you sent. Um, Again, if you didn't see your pack, if you sent us something and you're like, they didn't open my package, it's probably... Had either got here after yeah, we did it's, this, it's either or, in transit or, or, or th- again, this is an old. We opened this in uh, what is this, the middle of July, and you may not see this until two or three months from now. Uh, at which point, a lot more packages will have come, but, but we didn't have them at the time. So, um, don't fret; your packages were probably delivered. We just uh, haven't gotten them yet. So, that's it uh, for the m- one more PO box opening. We're gonna record a patron Q and A. Got a bunch more questions, so we're gonna do that right now. Uh, as always, you can support us on Patreon if you want and get access to that Q&A, to those questions, to our backlog of our podcast, to the ch- uh, show about our failed projects, all that good stuff, and so much more, nothing more really, um, early, ac- <laughs> early access when we get it, uh, but that's it. So, until next time, thank you uh, for buying us all this stuff, or sending us all this stuff. And so many plastic bags. I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for falling into our ploy for having us be sent a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> it is good. <laughs>